In this module, we're going to learn how to make a side chain substitution and model in different rotamers. So we're looking at PI3 kinase, and we're going to make an oncogenic mutation, arginine 38 to histidine. So here's the structure we're looking at, and be sure you have a lines representation. And we're going to go up to the sequence view that we have here to select the residue. And this is 36, 37, arginine 38, but I'll select it there. And I'll center click here to center on it, oh, and I'm having trouble, so I'm going to go over to the all other way to do this, which is over to select, where I've selected this residue, do action, and center. Oh, I guess I was centered already, and I'm going to zoom in now on the coordinates, and you can see that residue selected there by the red squares. Now to keep there from being too much in view here, I'm going to use the slab option here to cut down the view so that I'm just cutting away front and back so that I don't see too much of the structure at one time. And I'm going to click again to the side to unselect this residue, but this is the side chain we're interested in. To make the mutation, go up to the wizard at the top, wizard, and mutagenesis. And that will make two things appear. It'll say pick a residue here on the left, and we have this menu that appears here to the right. So let's pick a residue. Even if it was selected before, you need to select it again. We're going to click on this arginine here. And now you suddenly see this red stuff all uh, lit up here. And I'll explain what that is in just a moment. But what that's done for now is just displayed a different rotamer of arginine. But we don't want another rotamer of arginine, so we're going to go over to the menu here where it says mutagenesis. Click here where it says no mutation left click and a menu pops up and we get a selection of all the amino acids and we're going to change this one to histidine. Now for histidine I get these different versions here. I'm just going to click his over here. And now what you'll see here is it's substituted a histidine side chain. Use your left arrow to rotate around and see what's going on here. So here's the original side chain and here's the histidine side chain you can see here in gray. Now what these disks are here is it's showing that when it substitutes the histidine, I get some interatomic clashes between this side chain and these other side chains too. That's for this particular rotamer. Now if you use the arrows on your keyboard left and right, what it will allow you to do is if you just press one of the arrows to the right, is it'll let you scroll through all the different possible rotamers. And for each of these positions it shows you the clashes. And so the first very simplest modeling that you can do is choose a rotamer that gives you the fewest clashes. So I, I encourage you to rotate around and have a look at your structure. Um, this doesn't look too great here. It's clashing against a methionine side chain, which is packing against other hydrophobic side chains. So it's not going to want to move out of the way. So I'm going to scroll to the left now. And I'm going to go back to a position that I actually liked in the beginning, and that was this one over here. So this has relatively few clashes, and you can tell the severity of the clash by the number of these red disks that show up, and the size of the disks too. So this really looks like the lesser of the evils. Oh, there's another rotamer. Well, let's see. I think that one was similar to what I had before. So uh, I'm just going to choose this rotamer here. So if I'm satisfied with this, I go back to the menu here, and now you click on Apply. And now what you'll see is the arginine disappeared, and the histidine stays there, and the histidine is now in gray. And if you're done making the mutant, you click here, Done, and it takes you out of the mutagenesis menu.